picturing back basically a hundred years about how people lived, worked, and played. And that's truly the essence of Cross Orchards. I hope people learn a lot when they come. An appreciation for a time gone by, a time that was simpler in some respects, more difficult in others, an appreciation for the obstacles that, that people faced. A hundred years ago, when Cross Orchards was in its heyday, they had a blacksmith out here. And as I mentioned before, you couldn't just run into you know, the hardware store or something. We needed somebody that, that could make it, could fabricate it, and do it so it lasted. The wood shop is very similar to the blacksmith shop in that they made their own stuff out here. They might have needed a gate, they might have needed a part. So the wood shop was a very, very critical area where they could design and fabricate whatever needs there might be out here on the site. We raise apples for the exclusive purpose of pressing it to make cider. It's not pasteurized, it's not homogenized, it's pure raw juice. We mix sweet apples with a tart apple, so it's just kind of a lick smacking good kind of thing. We have members and visitors that come here every week just to watch the animals grow. And we wanted to have the type of animals that they would have had out here 100 years ago. They're a joy to have around, they really add to the ambiance of Cross Orchards. To keep a place running, it's very expensive and we appreciate any and all donations. They add up to a significant amount of money. So we continue to preserve, interpret, fulfill our mission and provide a wonderful resource for our community.